Hi everybody, Jill from Powers of Crows, thought we'd do a wee catch up for Go Get Gardening videos. Um, coming to you from the community gardens today. I thought we'd start off by just having a quick look at all the butterflies here. I'm being quite quiet because I don't want them all to take off. But uh, if you've ever wondered why uh, Budlea is known as butterfly bush, I'm just about to try and show you. Okay, this is absolutely covered in butterflies. Can you see them all? There was a lovely one that was a different colour earlier but it flew off and I've lost track of it now amongst all the others. But you notice this one has a yellow colour instead of the normal sort of purple colours that you get on bud layers. And if you have a wee look at the actual flower heads themselves, if I zoom in on one, you can see the globe shape around. I'll let it focus a wee bit, there we go. So this is bud layer globosa. So it has a different shaped flower head to all the other bud layers, but as you can see, just as loved by all the butterflies. Look at that, it's absolutely covered in them. I've got a wee bit more video footage which I'll uh, put on the end for you. For some reason. Anyway, right, move slowly away so it's not to disturb you. Uh, so here we are, and um, just at one of the potato beds here. I've popped these little potatoes in um, to hopefully give us a wee quick crop before uh, Christmas. Sorry to mention the C word. Um, but yeah, these are um, growing outdoors, these ones, and we've also got some in the polycrop, which I'll just show you in a wee minute. Um, but these are a first early type of potato. So the most important thing about this, if you want to try and catch another crop of potatoes before the end of the growing season, most important thing about this is that they are early uh, potatoes that you use. You want potatoes that are going to mature in 90 days um, and not in 120 days, as the main crops are. So these are a first early type. I forget the name of them, I'll uh, mention it later on if anybody wants to know. Um, but Charlotte is a good example of a first early type that you can use um, to get another uh, sort of last late season crop of potatoes in if you want. So these were planted up a couple of weeks ago. You can see that they're on already. They're quite uh, quick, uh, quickly through and developed. And um, they've already been earthed up once and they've also had a covering of uh, grass cuttings just put over the top. Um, if need be, the reason why I put them in this bed especially was so that um, we can get um, some horticultural fleece over the top of them and give them a bit of protection um, just in case we do get some early frosts. Because um, that is the danger with us, I suppose, trying this up here. Um, but hopefully it gives us some nice potatoes to go towards the community Christmas meal as well. So um, just a wee quick bed there of leeks. Have a wee look at some of the leeks. They're coming on. Um, parsnips. Parsnips will be down at the pop-up stall tomorrow if you're heading along. Come and see us. Um, what else? I was going to show you the ones in the polycrub as well. Let's have a quick look at here. Yeah, so these are the same ones in the polycrub that again this is potatoes um, put in just a couple of weeks ago through already exactly the same thing earthed up and mulched with uh, some grass cut grass over the top just to protect uh, the developing potatoes below okay so and um, that's the plan for these guys anyway and hopefully we'll get a nice wee late crop but just remember if you are putting them um, outside or if you want to give it a go then you kind of have to do it um, in a container or on a small bed that you can protect um, from those early frosts and also uh, just watch with the rain and things as well that uh, once your tatties have developed a wee bit they're not getting absolutely soaking because they will just kind of rot away underneath if you're not careful so that's what we're doing with these yeah um quickly look around in here I'll not spend too much time in here because you've kind of already seen it on the Thursday Community Development Trust page. So um, that's a polycrub. Been doing a wee bit of work in here today, uh, just tidying it up. The gardens in general, uh, we've been doing a lot of um, adding more topsoil and things onto uh, various different beds. You'll notice the leeks here as well. It's still growing away, but these have been earthed up as well so that they get nice white blanched stems on them. Um, but anybody that collected leaf mould for us last year, um, this is what we've been using the leaf mould for. So they're now going on top of the beds uh, just to give us a bit of organic material in there as well and also to help um, 
retain a bit more moisture for our growing season next year. So the problem with new raised beds is they can dry out really quite quickly um, in the summer because they don't have a great deal of organic material in them. Uh, so that's one thing that uh, Sharon and I are going to be working on um, and hopefully with our volunteers alongside as well, if COVID doesn't get in the way too much, um, is just getting all of these beds mulched and uh, getting some organic material in them and uh, just helping to add a bit more nutrients and things into the beds. Um, that's the plan for these as well. So we've been using our garden compost. We've got a little bit of work to do on the composting. As ever, if you've got any questions, then just give us a shout and let us know. Um, and I think the composting workshop will be going online. So uh, give us a shout if you want to join that. Um, so pop-up stall tomorrow in Sir John Square as usual uh, between 2 and 4 o'clock. Um, hope to see you there. Bye.